YouTube, Bill Hensley here, and welcome to my one-year review of the all-electric Chevrolet Bolt EV. For those of you who don't know, the Chevrolet Bolt EV is a 100% all-electric car, boasting an EPA range of 238 miles when fully charged. Of course, mileage will vary, and I have been on either side of the stated 238 miles, which I will get into later on in this review. When the Bolt EV first debuted in 2016, it was a game changer for the 200 or more mile range yet under $50,000 all-electric car segment. No one other than Tesla was offering electric cars that could go that far. And if you wanted a Tesla, you'd best be prepared to fork over some serious cash. Tesla also debuted the Model 3 in 2016. So from that point forward, the race was on for the first affordable long-range electric car. But I'm not here to do a comparison between the Model 3 and the Bolt EV. I'm here to give you my impressions after one full year of ownership. Is the Bolt still fun to drive? Have I gone on any long distance road trips with it? Do I ever find myself wishing that I could just gas up or have fallen flat on a charge? The answer to those questions in order is yes, yes, and heck no. For starters, this car is still very much fun to drive, especially now with my extended commute into work and back. It's nice how I don't have to take any additional time out of my day either to refuel my car. I simply just plug it in when I get home, regardless of how full or empty the pack may be. I don't have to worry about it overcharging, and with my settings, I actually have it set so that it stops charging at around 90%. That way I can take full advantage of regenerative break-in the next time I need to go somewhere. I also love how I can precondition the car first thing in the morning while it's still plugged in. I can leave the garage closed, and I don't have to worry about CO2 buildup because it's fully electric. Five or ten minutes later, I can get into the car with a comfortable cabin and a fully charged battery. Another thing that makes this car so much fun to drive is the little maintenance that needs to be done to it. Gone are the days of having to schedule time out of your life for things like oil changes and tune-ups, whether it be changing out spark plugs or having belts replaced. I also don't have to worry about an exhaust system getting louder or a drop in performance due to wearing out parts. In fact, this car performs just as good as the day that I got it and all I've done is participate in a service campaign for better monitoring of the cells in the battery pack, and I've had the tires rotated twice. The Bolt has plenty of cargo room too. With a flat floor and a deep trunk, I haven't had any problems when it comes to going on vacation or packing for an overnight stay somewhere. There seems to be this misconception that if you buy an electric car, that it'll only be good to use in or around your home area, and that you'll never be able to go anywhere else with it. Well, I'm here to tell you that that's simply just not the case. If you're new to this channel, I encourage you to go check out the road trip that I did last year from Maine to Virginia. That was probably some of the most fun that I've had with this car yet, and with DC fast charging, you can easily plan out a trip, go on vacation, and take your electric car. I can certainly say I do not miss having to gas up anymore. Most of my charging can be done right at home because I'm almost always within the single charge range of this vehicle for my day-to-day -day driving. However, it is nice having the option to be able to fast charge when and if I need it. Back when I was living in the city, I typically put anywhere from 5 to 20 miles a day on my car, which was well below the national average. But now that I'm living out in the country and still working in the city, I've more than quadrupled my daily mileage, and I'm now well above the national average. Even with that said, this car has plenty of juice to get the job done, even in the worst of conditions. Remember how I said that I've been on either side of the EPA range of 238 miles for this car? Well, a lot of that depends on what you're getting for miles per kilowatt hour consumed. One of the things that I like to do is to reset the trip meter each time before I plug in, which also resets the average miles per kilowatt hour back to a 3.9. Assuming you stay at a 3.9 or better, you'll achieve the stated 238 miles with ease. When it's a comfortable 70 to 80 degrees outside and you don't need to use the heat or AC, just traveling around in the city in stop and go traffic, you can push close to a 5.0 with no problems and get nearly 300 miles in between charges. Even if you do need to use the AC or have longer stretches that are over 50 miles per hour, you can still manage to get 200 miles off of a single charge. The big thing that'll drop your mileage below 200 miles other than interstate speeds is having to use the heat in the dead of winter. It takes a lot of energy, particularly on really cold days, to create heat. And even if you're one to only use the seat warmers and heated steering wheel, the thermal management system may still kick in to help keep the battery warm 
all of which uses a little more energy that's not going towards propelling the car down the road. Although it can happen, it is rare, even in the extreme cold temperatures we experience here in Maine, for one to fall below a 2.0 average, which if you were to do the math, would put one at about 120 miles on a full charge. I've never seen only 120 miles of estimated range displayed on the gasometer, and that's with hilltop mode engaged. Most of this past winter, I saw anywhere between a 2.2 to about a 2.8, and I've always had plenty of miles left on the car by the time I got home. Not once have I ever felt that I was going to be stranded on the side of the road or have fallen flat on a charge. And that's my one-year review of the all-electric Chevrolet Bolt EV. If you've enjoyed this video, then please click on the subscribe button down below. As time allows, I'll be uploading more and more videos. If there's anything you would like to see me cover, please let me know in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Bill Hensley, and I hope that you keep on charging into the future.